It sounds like something from the X-Files. The Pentagon for the first time admitting that it ran a top secret program investigating unidentified flying objects. 13 Action News anchor Christopher King has the story that some say is out of this world. We took the video purportedly of a Navy pilot chasing after an unidentified flying object. We showed it to the godfather of ufology and he isn't buying it. It's like a scene straight out of science fiction. It's rotating. Two Navy pilots in hot pursuit of an object they cannot identify. The Pentagon releasing the video. Oh my gosh. The Defense Department for the first time admitting for years. It ran the $22 million Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program, a top secret group investigating UFOs. My name is John Lear and I say it's a fake. John Lear is a former airline and CIA pilot. He's been researching UFOs for decades. Do you think that is an unidentified flying no, object? No, somebody penciled that in there. Lear firmly believes aliens have been and still are visiting Earth. No possible way no. that's an alien craft. No. No. no, no. He also believes this particular video has been doctored. I know inside and out all the things there is to know about uh, UFOs. That's not a, a legitimate unidentified flying object. Just because you don't know what it is you're looking at doesn't mean it's intelligent aliens visiting from another planet. Renowned astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson says talk of flying objects guided by aliens is mere pie in the sky. And there's Call me question. when you have dinner invite from an alien. Some true believers say all this talk of UFOs and aliens is out of this world. Others believe it's plain bogus. But the truth is out there. Christopher King, 13